Do you want to play snakes in TBR stacks? Who am I kidding? You clicked on this video? Of course you do! Snakes in TBR stacks is my snakes and ladders inspired TBR game. It's really simple. I'm gonna be rolling a dice. I'm gonna land on a prompt. The prompt is gonna tell me what I have to pick to read. If I hit a snake, I add an extra roll. And if I hit a ladder, it's like a reward prompt. That's all you needed to know to watch me play it. Told you it was simple. I will also be participating in two readathons in October. The first one is Becca's Spookopathon. This is based on Becca's old TBR game and it's spooky themed and I'm loving the prompts and I'm very excited. I'm gonna do a roll as you go vlog. I'm gonna do like 10 days of reading and having my books picked by Spookopathon. I will leave Becca's announcement down below. It's a lot of fun. I really enjoy this one. And then I'm also going to be participating in TBR Harvest by Leandra. I think I plan on doing the Escape the Haunted House board that she has and I will also be doing a vlog for that with like my reads as I go through the house. And as well, Leandra has kindly asked me to host a couple sprints so there will be some public sprints on my channel. Leandra essentially has three different boards that you can do and they all have different rules. So it's depending on what you kind of want for the month, what board you pick. The Escape the Haunted House one, it gives me Scooby Gang vibes and I like that vibe. So we're gonna go with that one. I will leave Leandra this video down below as well. And with that, let's get into my rolls. Last time we ended on skip, which puts us all the way up to third person to start today. And let's do roll one. 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Roll one, we landed on gods, and this one was so easy for me because I'm actually 100 pages into the game's gods play, and I know I will not be finishing this before the end of the month. I am deep into like seven books currently that I've started. This one I was loving, but just it got pushed aside because I had vlogs that needed priority over this. But I'm going to restart this in October and I'm going to read it. This is The Hunger Games meets Percy Jackson and the Olympians. What else could I tell you? Like what other comps could I give you? We're essentially a world where the gods every couple years pick a chosen to do a trial, a competition of sorts. And the winner gets to be the next god essentially. It's based on the Greek gods. Hades typically doesn't choose a chosen because he's technically god of the underworld. So it's a little murky water for him to be god of all, all the gods and god of like this city. This year, however, he meets our main character and he decides he's gonna spice things up a bit and he's gonna pick a chosen and he picks her because she also has a curse on her and so they kind of make a deal and we get to watch her go through this trial with Hades and there's gonna be a budding romance as well and I'm very excited to see where this one goes. It's giving me fall vibes. It's giving me perfect time to read it. I think you're gonna see a theme of things I want to read are things that are giving me like fall vibes whether they're spooky or whether they're just the vibes and the Game of God's Play is one that I can't wait to complete because I was loving it. It's so addicting and bingeable. I say this as someone who hasn't been it or kept going but like I know when I sit down and have the time to read this it'll be like a one sitting book. I just didn't have the time this month sadly. Roll two. Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. After that, we landed on new, which is either new to your TBR or a new release. And honestly, I could say both this time. I'm going with Immortal Dark by Tagest Gurma. Again, this is giving me fall vibes. This is also my Patreon book club book of the month for the Wyvern tier. So we will be reading it together with like Discord chats and I'm really excited about that. I've been hearing really good things about this. This is a dark academia vampire story and I think that that just sounds completely amazing. How has that not been in my hands before today? It makes zero sense to me. Essentially we're following our main character who in this one city, humans gain status by bonding with like vampires and she moved away from the city but when her sister goes missing she moves back and she is a hundred percent certain that this vampire has done it so she bonds with that vampire and goes to the school that like they do this thing at and she is going to uncover what happened to her sister whether that was the vampire or something else and i think that she's going to unravel some of the dark academia secrets like some of the school secrets some of the things that are better left hidden it's also a romantic so I'm expecting her and the vampire to fall in love. Roll three. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Minus one. The board decided to be nice to me and give me a minus one. However, I don't think I wanted this because both of these are books I want to read. <laughs> But because this is a book club book, I just don't feel right taking it off. So I am going to be taking the Games God's Play off my TBR. I do still want to read it, but it is what it is. 
12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Next we landed on weapon and this just has to be a weapon on the cover of the book. And for this, you know what? I'm gonna put this right back on my TBR. It's got two weapons and I'm so excited to read this. I know I'm gonna read it this month and so not putting it on my TBR is doing me an injustice because then I will fail my TBR because I'll prioritize books that aren't on my TBR and then next month I'll have to do more rolls because I didn't finish my TBR so why not just put the books that I know I want to read on my TBR. I'm a mood reader and I'm seriously in the mood for this book. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Multi POV and a snake. So we go zoom. Then we land on multi POV and I'm spicing it up a little bit with not a fantasy romance this time. I'm gonna put We Used to Live Here by Marcus Kluwer on here. This is a non-traditional haunted house story from what I've heard. I'm putting it as multi POV even though I think it's technically one narrative perspective, but there is mixed media in this. And in my opinion, mixed media leads to multi POV. Like there's newsletters and things like that. And those things are coming from a different POV than the main story arc. So that is why I'm calling it a multi POV story. From the synopsis on this, a couple is house flippers and they can't believe the good deal they just got on this house. And as they start to renovate it, they get a knock on the door from a man and his family and he goes we used to live here about three years ago could we just come in and see the house and eve says yes she's like sure why not and the second they come in weird things start to happen in the house and even one of the children goes missing aka the haunted house story i'm really intrigued i've heard a lot of people love this a lot of people say it was really creepy the lady who put this like staff pick sticker on it raved to me about this because she was the one at the cashier when i checked this out it's a no sleep reddit story so reddit used to have like a competition on theirs where people could post their stories and like you would vote for which ones you thought were incredible, amazing, you know, like give it a little likey like. And this one was on there and I think it did really good. And I've had really good luck with the Reddit stories in the past. I've read Stolen Tongues, The Patient, and Pen Pal, and I liked all of those. Two of them are like some of my favorite horrors. So I'm really, really hopeful on this one as well that I'm going to love it. And I've heard really good things about it. Last roll, hopefully. Nine. One, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, human. And of course we did hit a snake in the last one, which means I had to do an extra roll, which six rolls is not bad in my opinion. So we landed on human, which just means I have to have a human main character. And I think I'm gonna be going with 13 stories by Jonathan Sims. I'm really intrigued by this one and the concept behind it. There is essentially a dinner party that's held in the penthouse of this like apartment complex where a bunch of guests are invited, but no one knows each other, including the host. And by the end of the night, the host ends up dead but no one is willing to tell what happened during that night during that dinner party and so I think this is like us getting their stories and unraveling what actually happened at that dinner party. I'm very intrigued. I love the cover of this. I think that this is going to be creepy and disturbing and I'm very excited. This says a modern horror classic, nerve jangling, the only way out is up. This also says an altered modern take on the haunted house story so I do love a haunted house story. So here's the vibe. This board was utterly too nice to me and in October I I always have a lot of reading plans because I just want to get the vibey books in so I have a lot more that I want to read. I will be participating in those two other readathons and I'll be rolling as I go for those or following the path as I go so whatever fits those is really what I'm gonna read but I'm sure I'm gonna read more than these and I figured I'd give you like a pile of possibilities of other things that I'm intrigued on reading although my TBR that like is like pass or fail for next month is just what we just saw but here's my pile of possibilities. I am dying to read The Cruel Prince and I feel like fall October like the leaves are changing is the perfect time to read The Cruel Prince. I've never read this and I think I'm gonna be absolutely addicted to this series. I know it's like a YA bullyish romance and I'm excited for that. I know so many people love the characters in this. This is so many people's like absolute favorite series and I think I've done myself a disservice having not read this yet. So I'm so pumped to finally get to this. I'm kind of expecting a series binge of this and reading them all, but I need to. Like I need to read this so badly. This is about a human who ends up stolen and into the fake court and in 10 years after being there all she wants is to fit in there but the fae tend to despise humans so she doesn't. Especially Prince Cardin who is the son to the king 
king and he's known to be wicked and cruel. And to win a place at court, Jude must defy him and face the consequences. I'm excited. I think that this is going to be my personality, so I must get to it. Another like romantic that I'm really interested in reading is Bonded by Thorns by Elizabeth Helen. I recently read a Why Choose this year and think that Why Choose could be my thing. I read Broken Bonds. I adored that series. I thought it was so fun and I loved like being able to tear rank the men and stuff. I don't know. I just had like a fun vibe with that and I think Why Choose would work for me and this is also a Why Choose and maybe it's just the cover but it's giving me fall vibes. I also know that although the main characters like the men in this are fey, they are cursed to shift into demonic wolves every night and with every year that passes more of their magic fades away and so like the werewolf aspect the wolf aspect really gives me fall vibes and so i think this is the perfect time to read this this is the fairy loot edition not like the regular edition but like this is screaming to me to be read essentially our main character finds her father has gone missing and rosie turns up after him and finds herself in the enchanted veil the land of the fey when she locates her father he's been imprisoned there and she has no choice but to make a deal with the four fey princes to take his place she uncovers that they've been cursed which i've already talked about the way to break the curse is for each prince to find their mate and so rosie's determined to help them but the more time she spends with them the more she feels like she's destined to be with all of them i don't know like this it's giving what can i say another one that i'm interested in reading is takara feyhart by tasana odette in this world two women are picked to go marry the king and his little brother and our main character is fine she hasn't been picked except for the two women upset the king and he kills them and so they pick two new women and it happens to be her and her sister she goes off to marry the king's little brother and she goes mm, it can't be that bad he's not that bad he's pretty good looking he's not super scary like his older brother the king but then her sister runs away because the king scares her and it's left to her to marry the king and essentially if she doesn't marry this king then like a century old war is going to start and also i forgot to mention that the king has fangs and a craving for blood i think he's a vampire i like vampires like vampire fey i'm in it i like that i'm excited to read this it's giving me fall vibes that's it i also do want to read the wraith king but i really don't know the synopsis right now but that is also on my pile of possibilities and then horror wise confessions by kane minato this follows i think a teacher who is confessing something to her students and she could put the whole school at risk i'm not entirely sure but i know everyone raved about this on booktube at some point i'm behind on the times her pupils murdered her daughter now she will have her revenge so she's like trying to get the confessions from them about what happened to her daughter i think i'm really excited to read this i've heard it's really really good it's a crime that i have not read clown on cornfield 3 yet i love this series i typically read them as soon as they come out it's a ya slasher it's full of a lot of politics i've heard this one is the goriest and that makes me very excited i love them but i think that they could have always been a little bit darker so i'm very very excited it's the church of friend no so there's a cult happening all these like buzzwords for me and then there's also so thirsty by rachel harrison which is technically my buddy read on patreon for this month but i'm probably not going to get to it so i need to read it early next month and this is following our main character who her husband is essentially a walking talking red flag so when she finds something out about her husband she ends up going on a girl's trip with her best friend and they run into maybe a pack of vampires i believe it's going to be a little more literary it's going to deal a lot with womanhood and i'm hoping for a little bit of camp because that's what i loved about black sheep by rachel harrison and i loved black sheep so much but i've also read other things by rachel harrison that i didn't love as much so i'm hoping this will be a win for me but it's not like a hundred percent certain and it's gonna be a win but I'm very excited to read this. These are all the books that I can't wait to read this month. I think it's doable. Do you think it's doable? Let me know down below what you'll be reading and if you would like to check out some more of my videos I'm gonna leave one on the screen right here for you to go check out and have yourselves an absolutely remarkable day.